So the point of this video is just to quickly demonstrate the, uh, the power consumption of the 4-way SLI 6-core machine while running a typical game. So I have Race Driver Grid running at 1280 by 800 um, on my projector here. And um, this is actually, I, I mentioned this in another video, I'm not sure if I ever uploaded it or not though. But this is my first time gaming on a projector. And so I've got my G25 wheel set up here. And uh, it's actually pretty cool. I don't know how many inches this screen is, but it's a lot. Um, just projecting onto a white wall, and it's actually kind of... This projector is just a, a demo unit that I get to have a look at for a couple days. But uh, I think it's pretty much got me convinced to... Oh, that kind of failed. It's got me pretty much convinced that I need to go out and buy a projector now. So anyway, I'll get the uh, cameraman or uh, to go have a look at the... Uh, the energy meter that I have sitting on the wall uncrashed, so I'm going to get up and turn on the light in the room here so that uh, you can actually read it. So anyway, there. That gives you some idea. This is not a worst case scenario. This is running a fairly non-demanding game. Um, grid isn't sort of the worst that you'll see. Um, but what I saw before was typically in the sort of 1,000 watt range. So something to bear in mind is that means the system's probably pulling about 850 watts during a typical gaming load. So I'm going to actually update this with some uh, synthetic benchmarks, which should give us a more realistic absolute maximum power consumption. But what this does tell us is that the 1,500 watt power supply is more than comfortable with the load that this system can put out.